I remember hearing the first plane. I said to my boyfriend then, my husband now, wow, that plane sounds really low. And the next thing you know, we heard what we thought was the wall of a building coming down. We looked out our window and we could see a huge hole in the North Tower of the World Trade Center. Obviously, moments later, we hear on the news another plane has crashed into the South Tower. And I think I went into shock, some form of shock, because I was a White House correspondent for CNN at the time and working on a PBS show, anchoring a PBS show on the side. And I said, I, I have to go back to Washington. I have to anchor the show. And my boyfriend then, husband now, I think he almost held me and looked at me and basically said, life as we know it has changed. I do think though that sort of momentary shock really saved us from seeing things we would never want to see because then we're reporters. So we start heading downtown and I remember the streams and streams of New Yorkers who were heading north with absolute disbelief and shock on their faces. I remember the man who was crying on his cell phone uncontrollably describing watching people jump to their death. I remember all the firefighters who asked me to, gave me their numbers and their names and asked me to call their loved ones so that they knew they would be okay. And I remember thinking, I'm from a neighborhood of firefighters, that uh, someone I know and could have been affected. I remember taking the first train out of Manhattan on Amtrak and looking at that, that skyscraperless you know, downtown Manhattan, the big hole, and just could not believe what had happened. To this day, to this day, every time I hear a plane that sounds slightly low, I kind of freak and I think back to September 11th.